A Bengaluru-based CEO has been accused of killing her son amidst a marital dispute with her husband. The details are chilling and we will not get into that. But this case throws light upon an important mental health aspect. What happens to children trapped in their parents' marital discord? How should adults or partners handle disagreements, especially in the presence of children? We spoke to senior psychiatrist Dr. Rajesh Goyal and here are a few tips he gives us to handle these situations. Home is the most safe and secure place for a child. If there are problems there, parents are fighting among themselves, they are shouting at each other, calling names or throwing things, that definitely it has a very bad impact on child psychology. They won't have a normal psychology, either they will turn into criminals or they will have, they will develop as timid individuals or having some or other psychological problems. And they don't know whom to trust, what to do. But see, sometimes it is so spontaneous, you cannot plan and do it. Definitely, when there are two people, there have to be some conflicts. If that can be solved within uh, some boundary, like inside the bedroom where children are not there, talking to each other or maybe shouting or doing whatever that is between two of you in front of the child they should have a healthy relationship or at least pretend to have it if child is witnessing that argument or that fight first either of the uh, parent or both of them should comfort the child after that because child will get disturbed during that fight if there is a clear cut mistake of one of the partners that partner should take responsibility and tell child see some that I was stressed and because of that I shouted I shouldn't I am sorry for that I am saying sorry so see by doing this child will learn so many things how to handle a confrontation if you are wrong you should say sorry then how to handle things and make them better instead of getting disturbed he will learn positive things from that fight his interaction will decrease or he might totally stop interacting with the others, with his friends, schoolmates, classmates, teachers. He will look tired and lethargic and sleepy because he won't be having a proper sleep at home. He might look fearful because all these fights will take a toll on him or her and child might become fearful. Keep quiet and not interact and most of the time he'll skip meals. Child might also become aggressive or irritable sometimes suddenly a simple child has become irritable he is uh, beating and fighting his schoolmates if this behavior is so sudden definitely there has to be some problem at home so the only thing is both the parents should take this responsibility they should make it sure that this is a ch this child belongs to both of them and any of their problem should not take a toll on the child and disturb in his or her development or turning into a different personality. So that is the most important. Age is around 10 to 21 or 20. That this is the most vulnerable age. Because children younger than 10, they are not able to understand many things. They don't come out and talk to us. But when, as soon as a child turns 9 or 10, he starts sharing with the classmates and he knows that there is a place where he can go and talk. So, and after 20, they themselves start handling their problems instead of going to somebody else. So, the age group between 10 to 20 is the most vulnerable where they need somebody to talk to, to how to handle it. 